Why the upgrade today? Yeah, I mean, there's really three things uh, that I think it boils down to. The first is delivery numbers uh, in the transition from sort of low volume, high price vehicles to high volume, lower price. So that's the Y and the three. We saw those numbers out. We think that'll lead to greater profitability. Second is probably more technical, but the, you know, surface level, we think that the 4680 battery will open up a capacity. And that'll drive into the solar and storage market, mainly on the storage side of things. And the third is really the effect that we can only compare to Apple in terms of the brand value that Tesla's driving in the energy market. And so uh, we think that they're doing the same thing and that that's going to resonate um, and has a logarithmic benefit versus a linear uh, um, that the competitors are, are taking. I want so to those would be the three things. Okay. I want to go back to the solar and home energy market piece yeah. of this. I mean, Tesla acquired Solar City a couple years ago. We really, I mean, it, it, it just, it wasn't a focus for investors. It didn't seem to be a part of the business that was getting much attention within the company either. Um, you mentioned Apple. Uh, the fact that they did just ink this deal with Apple, do you see that as a tipping point for this piece of the Tesla pie? Well, if you notice today, they actually just added a utility um, mm. section on their website. I think that this is going to be an area of focus. Now, they can't focus on this area, at least on the energy storage side, unless you have ample capacity. And so if you look at the, um, all of the capacity has been going to the vehicles, uh, Model S, X, 3, Y, uh, and as, we, as they open that up, we think this is going to be a, another leg to this store. So just a couple of days ago, I came out with this video titled Tesla stock has huge upside and I explained exactly why in that video. If you didn't catch it, the core of the video was drawing comparisons to Apple and how Tesla and Apple have some extreme similarities, like for example, with their strong brand. And in that video, I also mentioned how I noticed that some analysts were slowly bumping up their price targets. We had a few analysts with a thousand plus dollar price targets. And I was like, guys, just keep an eye on this because I think we're going to see a lot more of this happen. And today, of course, we have another analyst, a pretty reputable one here on Wall Street, giving us a new price target of $1,071 per share for Tesla stock. This, guys, is more than a double up off their previous price targets, so yeah, they're bullish. So my perspective is that today, most analysts that have a lower price target on Tesla, say like six, seven, eight hundred dollars per share, a lot of them are just looking at Tesla solely from the lens of an EV company. They've come around to the idea that Tesla is pretty much the leader and the winner in this space. Some of them have come around to the idea that Tesla has amazing full self-driving technology. They've modeled those two things together and they come out with their price targets of say $800 per share. They also realize that Tesla's are selling like hotcakes, Model 3's, Model Y is doing extremely well all over the world, in China, in US, everywhere really. And that's part of kind of their bullish thesis for Tesla. The issue though is that not many of them are looking at Tesla's energy business yet. A lot of them are writing that off as maybe something that could happen in the future, but they're not really considering that as part of a model here to see what Tesla could potentially be worth. And I think that's a big mistake. Now, yes, today Tesla's energy business makes a tiny fraction of their total revenues. It also costs them quite a lot of money to deploy this energy. So it's not something that will really see a lot of benefits like today or tomorrow for Tesla. But if you look at the rate that this is ramping up at, you'll quickly realize that this is not something to sleep on. You need to be taking a closer look at this if you analyze Tesla stock because it is growing to be a meaningful part of their business sooner than many think. Now when we talk about energy, there's a few products that come to mind for this for Tesla, like their power packs or their solar roofs. And once this becomes a bigger focus for them, it will be yet another major catalyst that will move the stock as the rest of Wall Street starts raising their price targets to over $1,000 per share as well. As of today, there's only only five analysts that have publicly stated a $1,000 price target for Tesla, but you'll notice four of them have actually come in the last month. So it's clear to me that analysts are revising their data now, especially after the blowout quarter that Tesla had for deliveries. So I think this price target bump from a lot more analysts 
is going to be a big catalyst to move the stock much higher here in the short term. I think a lot of analysts haven't really updated their models quite yet with the latest delivery numbers. And once they do, thousand plus dollar price targets are going to be pretty normal for the stock. Now Tesla is slated to release their earnings guys on April 26th, which is just two weeks away from today. And honestly, I think this could be the event that moves us back to all time highs in the short term. We already know that deliveries were a blowout for the first quarter. Pretty much the best on record here. Tesla is doing extremely well with everything. They're exceeding expectations. All we're waiting to see now is how much money they made off of that, the, the profits off of that. And maybe to hear some status updates on some other gigafactories that they're working on and other products that they may have down the pipeline because that's kind of what investors love about this company. There's always something new, there's always a big catalyst and that just keeps driving the stock higher and higher. Anyways guys, let me know in the comments down below, do you agree with this $1,000 plus price target? Love to hear your thoughts in the comment section down below, but either way, thank you so much for watching guys. Don't forget to invest positively and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.